So my take is that there's a load, I say a load, there's not that many actually, but um, from what I've seen on a private, well not so private telegram group called the People's Resistance Liverpool, um, I actually found a link for there, got into that group and from what it said in that group when I asked um, under a pseudonym was that they were coming to Asylum Link Merseyside, aka Merseyside Refugee Centre because they had plans to attack it. Um, and obviously with me admit it publicly because it'll be a bad look for their image. But I think the bigger questions we need to be asking is less about why all these places like the mosques, the immigration lawyers and the asylum link centres are being attacked, but more along the lines of why are the people like Nigel Farage going away on shady business to America, using their Irish passport to go on holiday in Crete. Because, like, that's what we should be doing, asking the bigger questions about why they're calling for such violence and how we can put an end to it as a community of people on the left. But not just on the left as well, you know, people all over. Um, but I read a YouGov survey and it said that something like, um, what only one in eight people support the riots, um, which is quite little to be fair. So yeah, that's my whole take on it. What do I think about the Prime Minister's speech? I mean, it was partially correct in the fact that it is far right and fuggery. Um, but to be honest, I think he should have named and shamed like some of the groups involved um, and not just that rather than just saying, oh, we're just going to have like an increased busy presence around the mosques. I think that they should have had a clear plan for what would happen in an event like this. And we know like it happened back in like um, Croydon 2011, all that when all the AKA say kids starve who's like refusing to remove the two child benefit cap. I feel like he's doing a very poor job of handling this. And that even himself, had a little part to play because back when like the whole election was going on, he was basically telling voters, oh, don't you worry, blah, blah, blah. I'll deal with immigration better than the Tories do. But he was only doing it to get sympathy votes. And we all know from him one thing, then he changes his mind. So if he failed to like, um, um, if he failed to be the leader of the opposition of this country, like what's he going to be doing as prime minister now to like, deal with stuff like this because it's not long into his term and maybe it is just a far like trying to do a, like a thing to like get him out but he's from what I've seen so far he's just done a bad job of handling these riots the last and solution is that the left all come together and that was because other than like an increased police presence and like arresting more people um I'm not because I don't really like know what to suggest in that kind of area as an autistic person. And that I just know the community needs to come together and defend in situations like this when people on the far right seek to divide us. And that's always been my take, and that's why I'm here to defend our community when we're under attack from the fash and the far right and the likes of the EDL and the footy hooligans and Reform UK voters, supporters, and, you know, Nigel Farage, Tommy Robinson, sorry, Stephen Yaxley Lennon, that's his real name, all of that. That is what really should be going on. Community, building upon communities and looking out for each other and offering solidarity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank
Yeah. Oh,